Good morning, let's talk about file attributes. Uh, basically in Windows uh, there are only few attributes like uh, these but I show it in Total Commander so you can uh, take a look at it in a nicer interface. So the archive, the read-only and the hidden system attributes which are naturally for access control. Uh, for access control uh, there is a uh, more sophisticated access control, but uh, these are not controlled by bits. On POSIX systems like uh, Unix and Linux and Macintosh, uh, you can see <coughs> uh, the, execu the execution bit and other access bits uh, in this part. So you type ls-l and uh, and uh, there are uh, three groups here this group this uh, group is read write and execute for the owner and this is read write and execute for the group and for other users this is also uh, you can see here the execution bit is uh, disabled so we can enable execution bit like typing uh, uh, these values in octal so in octal this free bit number is uh, 0 1 1 which is 6 in octal and uh, this is uh, 0 0 1 I mean <laughs> from the left side is 1 0 0 which is 4 in octal and this is also 4 and you have to type the file name and uh, now Oh, we, we said the same, uh, so let's add the execution bit, which is 1, and 6 plus 1 is 7. And here we have the execution bit of this file is on, and even its name changed color in, <coughs> in the terminal. The easiest, the easiest way to uh, add the execution bit is ch mod x. But it uh, it turns on all three execution bits. So now here and here and here all three are are set. I think the six four four is the normal state. Okay, so that's about uh, file attributes.